this is the VUCA SACLE project. That's a Zulu word, which means um, stand up and do it for yourself. And my sister is, and I have been working with a group of women from the Amandawe area of um, South Africa in KwaZulu-Natal. And they wanted to help the AIDS orphans in the areas because it's one of the most um, heavily um, damaged areas by AIDS and affected by AIDS. And there's a lot of orphans there. And a lot of the, the in the Zulu culture, if your parents die, your aunts and uncles take you in and, and the family looks after the family. And, and that that level of adulthood has all died off. A lot of them have died off. So the children are left and sometimes the grandmothers and that's it. So there's a lot of, of a need. And they wanted to help the orphans in the area, but they had no skills to make money. So my sister taught them to sew. And I gave, when I went out for my nephew's wedding, I gave them a little um, lesson in landscapes and perspectives. Um, and they started producing these little landscapes of the area they, they live in. And I said, so what you know, you know, uh, use your surroundings, your village, your area. And over the four years, they've just, uh, they've improved. Their artistic talent has just really come out since they've been earning money for it. We put the little landscapes onto bags and we sell them as the bags of hope and we send all the money back to them. And once they realize that they appreciate it and people actually buying their work, they have just blossomed into fabulous artists. And I said, well, I have to make some money too, otherwise I have nowhere to sell your bags. So I, can I incorporate your art into my art? And they said, fine. So I chose seven of the uh, pieces, one from each lady. And I, had, I wasn't really sure. In fact, I had no idea how I was going to do it because I didn't want to damage the fabric. So what I, after many trials and errors, I land up working on cradle board. These are not canvases, these are boards. And once I'd worked out what the scene was going to be to hold the uh, landscape, because I wanted the landscape to tell a story on its own right, and I wanted my painting to tell a story on its own right, but the two of them are in interconnected. So the provenance is all in one, but it's almost two separate things telling one story. Uh, once I decided where the landscape was going to go, I used um, uh, plexiglass dowels. I had to have them sent in from California and then had them cut, and I got a plexiglass and had that cut and the people at ACE just nearly died when they saw me coming and can you cut this and I would put on and then when I painted my scene I, I put their landscape onto burlap and the reason was that is I could I could stick glue the burlap onto the piece of plexiglass and give the the uh, fabric landscape a safe place to, to rest so that's stuck on fabric glue so it doesn't get damaged and this has resulted in each one tells a story within a story about a, a whole. This one, I thought the night scene, the, the landscape was a night scene, uh, but the door was open and the windows are open. And the night time is very dangerous for the children living alone. Sometimes the head of household is 12, 15, somewhere on there. So um, I wanted them to feel that they were going to be safe. So I painted a night scene and I have the children here coming back bringing their little brothers and sisters that they've kept, uh, have been at the community centre where the ladies do their sewing and look after the smaller children. And then they go in home alone, but the ancestral spirits are there to protect them. A very colourful one is, um, I love the, 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 the uh, landscape, it was very happy, very cheerful one with the two little girls playing happily together and the marvellous tree, it's just fabulous. So I wanted to use that to show that the, the children felt protected and cared for. And I wanted to show um, the, the woman in the painting that symbolized the Amandawa support group. And the three women in traditional dress were bigger because they're the ones who are really doing all the, the heavy work and the hard work and giving the most. And really and truly in, in, in the situation I find it's always the people who have the least give the most. And the two smaller figures are my sister and myself and Maureen representative. Uh, but we're smaller because we're not as important in the, in the group, but we're all involved. And it just shows that this sort of group can work together. It's colorblind, love doesn't matter. It's just helping the children and trying to keep them safe. And when I told my sister my idea, she said, make us young and thin. <laughs> so I did. <laughs>